Anderlecht won, Manchester United won in a frustrating Europa League quarter-final first leg for Manchester United. Not because of the outcome, but because of the way the result panned out in the end. Uh, Manchester United absolutely dominated the whole, well, I say the whole 90 minutes. I think Manchester United were the dominant team. We went there and we played like the home team. You would imagine, looking at that, that Anderlecht were the away team. You could see that Manchester United were the better team and had the better players. And we went there and we had... We had we created loads of chances. We had some great opportunities. We had a couple of shots blocked. We had posed a couple of times. Eventually, we did get the breakthrough on 37 minutes from a lovely goal from Henrik Mkhitaryan. And when I say lovely, I mean it was a very good finish from him because it's a very tight angle to get it in there. It was on quite a pace because it's quite a fierce shot from Rashford, which was uh, saved. So it's a very good effort from Rash, uh, Mkhitaryan, and he, he puts the ball in the back of the net. One 0 Manchester United, and the thing which um, which annoys me now is the fact how we didn't get a second, how we didn't kill the game off because as I said we did dominate, we did create chances and in the second half we should have got um, a second, 100% um, should have got a second and killed the game off. Fellaini went close, Pogba went close, um, some great opportunities there. We just had some so many good opportunities but no better than that Pogba one on 83 minutes and that could have been 2-0 and even if they did get their goal to make it 2-1 we're still going in with that advantage and two away goals going into the second leg. Uh, but yeah, it should have been 2-0 from that goal from Pogba. But instead it was 1-0 and then we paid the hefty price for it when they got their goal late on. Um, from a great goal it was, to be fair. You know, it came out of nothing. Um, but it's a very good header um, from the Anderlecht um, uh, midfielder. It gets, you know, it's a very fierce shot and there was no chance Romero was going to save that because it was at such a pace. And that was 1-1 and that was on 86 minutes. And, you know, as I said, we paid the price for not being able to kill the game off. Because... I'm going to be honest with you, we we dominated the game, we dominated the game, we deserved to win the game. Um, we had the, we created the chances, we played well, we just, we we couldn't finish them off and that's the point which has been our story of the season, we've we've not converted chances. Today we converted just the one, we had something like six or seven shots on target, they had one shot on target, they scored their one shot on target, we scored just one of our six or seven shots on target and realistically at half time we should have been two and one. And realistically, Pogba should have, you know, I think realistically he should have got a third in the 83rd minute and we could be coming out here saying, oh yeah, 3-0 or 3-1 and realistically the tyres are out of reach. I still think that we're going into that second leg with the advantage. I still think we're favourites. I still would imagine that we'll go through over the two legs, which is obviously the main thing. You know what I mean? I can say I'm frustrated now, but at the end of the day, all that matters is that we're through next Thursday. Um, I just think, you know, the outcome's not bad. You know, to, to get a 1-1 draw, get the away goal, away from home in the European quarter-final first leg, I don't think that's a bad result because you're going into that second leg, just needing to beat Anderlecht at home. And based on what I saw tonight, we should be able to beat Anderlecht at home. Anderlecht aren't that great of a team. I don't think any of their players would get into the Manchester United team, only maybe that captain who I've never really heard of before, uh, but he's been hyped up by the media recently. Realistically, I don't think any of their players would get in my team. And realistically, United should beat them at Old Trafford next week. And that's all we have to do. All we have to do now is beat them at Old Trafford next uh, Thursday. And we are through. Or even get a nil-nil draw, which is something we have got quite a few times this season. But realistically, I do think we'll go through now. And I think because of that, I don't think the 1-1 draw is a bad result here. Because as you said, you know, we've drawn the away game and we've got the away goal. And the fact is I came out of the Rostov game with a 1-1 draw and I said, yeah, that's a good result. Mainly because of the dodgy pitch stopped us from playing, but I said good result because it means we've got the away goal and we're going into that second league just needing to beat them at Old Trafford. So realistically, the only difference with Anderlecht is just we played better, we create more chances and it was on, wasn't on a dodgy pitch, but I would still say, yeah, good outcome. So realistically, it's not a bad outcome. We're still the favourites, the tie's still ours to lose, you'd imagine we would still expect us to beat them at Old Trafford next week and go through. But it's just frustrating how we dominated the game, carved open so many chances, yet we couldn't finish them off. And it, unfortunately, it finished in a 1-1 draw. I thought Carrick had a really good game today. I thought Pogba did really well in the first half. In the second half, he was poor. Martial didn't do too much when he came on. But I think, you know, not too bad a result for a 1-1 draw. Um, um, and yeah, we'll go again next Thursday. And obviously, we've got a big game against Chelsea coming up. But I still think that we have got a very good chance of winning this competition. But yeah, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you later.